Hi there, Angela here at So Bright Alpine Quilting, back with you for our 2pm demo for the Grand Australian Craft Show. Today we are looking at the Quick Curve Ruler from So Kind of Wonderful. This ruler is fantastic, it's very um, unusual in that it has a curve built into the ruler that you can use with your rotary cutter to cut a curve in the blocks to create modern, fresh takes on some traditional blocks. Today I'm talking about the Posh Blossom quilt. This is the one that we're going to be cutting out some blocks for. So as you can see, it's got some beautiful curved blocks here. And when you break down the actual shape of it, it's like the Drunkard's Path block. So here's one that I just did a little bit earlier that we're about to trim. So you can see it's got that half, and I think the girls call this the half square curve block. But it's a really quick, easy one to do, and you can um, cut out in multiple fabrics at, at once and create blocks really quickly. So I'll just quickly show you that. So we've got some rectangles here that we've cut out with our fabric, and we're going to use our sew line marker to mark some lines. First of all, we're going to go one on this side, as Steve might need to zoom in a little bit so that you can see, and one on this side. And then we put our curve down on that mark and matching up the point on the other side, pop our rotary cutter in and cut our curve. And then we switch it around the other side You could also do this on a rotating cutting mat. Just let me check where it was. There's a little line. I can't see that. Get this. So we'll pop that one back there. And cut out the second one. So that gives us our curved shape. Our half. And then to make the other side. We've got some squares here, which we just cut in half diagonally. And then we can stack them on top of each other. The beauty about these, um, this method of construction is that everything is cut slightly larger than we actually need it. And we trim it back to size when we're finished. So if things are not quite sitting right on top of the other, don't worry too much about it. Uh, so we're going to cut a half an inch off the end of this one. And you notice that I'm using the same ruler to cut all these measurements, which is really handy, not having to grab different rulers. And get rid of that. And then I will put this in two little piles because they've got about eight layers there, so I'd like to cut about four at a time. So we pop down our triangle and we use a line on the ruler to match these little notches that we just cut out. So our curve is sitting nicely within those two points. So we just cut that one out and then that becomes the other half. So we would mix that one and that one. So this becomes the other half of this side, and this becomes the other half of this side. And so we just keep going, cutting out our blocks, and then when we've got them all cut out, we can piece them together. Um, I have done other demos on the actual sewing. The sewing machine is set up in the studio in its table, so it's a bit difficult to bring it out here. Uh, but I will put a link in the comments of the uh, little video that I've done on sewing them. But the basic principle of sewing these two pieces together is we have right sides together. So we have our pie or our hill and our valley. And we offset them slightly. Each pattern's different. In this case, it's uh, half an inch, I think. 
And we take that to the sewing machine and we pop it underneath the needle and we just do a couple of little stitches with our, and we have our quarter inch foot on. A couple of little stitches just to secure it. And before we start sewing, we lift this one up in the air. And then as we start to stitch, we gently guide this one underneath the needle and this one underneath on the other side. And the two miraculously come together without pins, without marking anything. And you get something that looks a little bit like this. Don't worry, as I said, everything is cut slightly larger, so you're going to have bits hanging off the ends. That's just fine. So then we just need to trim them down. So we place it down on our mat. And once again, because of the size that uh, we're cutting this down to, we can use our quick curve ruler to trim with. If you don't want to use your ruler, we also have a great set of um, sew squares in 6 inch, 8 inch and 10 inch which you can use to square. And these also have some handy guidelines in on them for particular blocks. Um, but as I said, in this case, not really necessary. The only thing that I do on my rulers when I'm doing this uh, trimming is I take a uh, nice metallic Sharpie and put a little dot. I don't know if you can zoom in and see, there's a little dot on the six and a half at the six and a half inch point on the one eighth inch line on um, on both sides of the ruler just as a little guideline when you're lining up your blocks to trim that you get everything in the same place just makes it a little bit easier so we're going to line up at the six and a half inch mark here and the six and a half inch and so as long as you can see fabric on the outside of the six and a half inch line you're going to be just fine it's all the way around is just great. So we line those up and we cut off the first two sides and then we can turn our block around and cut them off or if you've got a rotating cutting mat you can pop it on the rotating cutting mat and cut them out that way. So we just need to go now six and a half here, six and a half line here, we've still got an eighth there and trim off those two sides and there we've made our half square curve block which will go into our quilt in the center part here and so we just keep making blocks making blocks join them together the instructions are really great step by step with color photos color layouts and all the instructions are really helpful uh, there are also uh, some YouTube videos that the girls have done as well, which are really helpful. So that's the So Kind of Wonderful Quick Curve Ruler and the Posh Blossoms pattern. So we've got a special on those for the show of $60, normally $64.95, so there's a small saving there for you. And I will also um, put a link to some fabric that I'm making the shop sample in. It, uh, it will grow as we go. Thanks for watching. Keep a look out on the Great Australian Craft Show and Craft Alive websites and on our website at www.sobright.com.au for all of the showcase products that we have for the Great Australian Craft Show. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.